Shaila Shiv Suleiman is an artist and storyteller who uses the transformative power of art as a tool to address issues of sexual violence and gender inequality in public spaces through her Fearless Collective, a group of over 250 artists across India, Nepal, and Pakistan. With all of our weaknesses, together we are stronger. Our walls are quite different in the sense that we don't just come with our sketch and start working, but we do um, really immersive workshops with different NGOs and communities, understand what the issues and stories are in that community, and then create large-scale public art installations around those issues and stories. This particular one um, is actually a collaboration with an uh, NGO based in Dharampur called Sewing New Futures, um, and they do a lot of work with um, removing uh, women from intergenerational prostitution and finding alternative livelihoods for them. Shiloh's Fearless Collective, formed as a response to the Nirbhaya gang rape, aims to reclaim public spaces for women through different ways, including street art. So I think there's a very strong creative common goal of the street art movement and the feminist movement, uh, which is to reclaim public space. Feminists are saying that along with all of the men, uh, I have a right to be on that bus, I have a right to be in public space at night, I have a right to wear what I want in public space, like dirty sneakers, <laughs> whatever it is, um, and I have a right to, to be there. And what street artists are also saying is that along with all the political propaganda, along with all of the Bollywood and ad and billboards and all of that stuff, my art has a right to be here as well. Shiloh's process of working on a mural is collaborative, multifaceted, and highly inclusive. Once we go in, we do um, rituals of sorts. We actually call it the fearless ritual, where we um, do very performative actions that draw from art therapy, they draw from theater, and they allow us to share our stories in personal ways, but not where you are getting into the details of things. We really start to look at emotional resonances, things that no matter where you come from, uh, all women or all humans really feel. The workshop involved icebreaker session, a lot of dancing and singing, and also a lot of intense sharing about our life experiences. So we learned a lot about their life and their community, uh, and we also shared our experiences, all of us here. And it was a very collaborative experience through which the entire idea for the wall uh, flowed out of. For the final composition, Shiloh centers the narrative on women from this marginalized community and brings this often unseen sisterhood to the forefront. We see over here an image of uh, one of the, the women, older women from the community and also um, a younger woman from the community. And essentially um, what we were using as a visual metaphor here was this idea of fog. So every winter in Delhi, all of Delhi becomes completely fogged up. Um, and of course, it becomes hard to see and it's slightly magical but also slightly scary. But it becomes into a great visual metaphor for the communities in Delhi that remain completely unseen, um, including this community that we've been interacting with. So essentially you see an older woman emerging out of the fog and a younger woman, a younger girl, the next generation, who is taking that, uh, taking the suffering, taking the strength of the older generation and weaving it into something beautiful for herself. <laughs> The final work is the result of a joint effort among the girls from Sewing New Futures, Shiloh and the Fearless Crows. Shiloh Didi taught us to paint like that. She was becoming a woman. She was doing it like that. We didn't want to do it. She told me to do it. She took it like that. 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 We ask these girls to make a bird a each and write one thing that they don't want to hide from the world. One thing that they would want to be really fearless about. So if you like if you want to see this, like they wrote very different things. Dosti, a girl wrote, I don't want to hide my makeup, my lipstick from the world. So, uh, somebody wrote, I don't want to hide my mus muskan, my hussy, my hunar, my thoughts, my soch which was like we uh, tricked them into promising us that you will actually not hide yourselves 
दिस वे मैं अपना डांस नहीं छुपाना चाहती मैं जो काम कर रही हूँ मैं इसको नहीं छुपाना चाहती खुल के करना चाहती हूँ ताकि दूर दूर देशों में जाए बाहर जाए बिके और हमारे भी अच्छी आमदनी हो <laughs> And this process lends voices to everyone involved, the privileged and those less so. I think I use art as a healing process for myself. I feel like I use art as a way of um, sharing my voice in the world. So regardless of whether it is about you know social justice or whether it is about personal change, art is a really important tool. Well, Shiloh was always, I mean, really a desire uh, in each every festival that we've done. Uh, but for one reason or another, like uh, she was always busy, and sometimes it wasn't like perhaps like you know the best, uh, the best moment to collaborate. And instead, uh, finally, uh, we got the the pleasure of working with her, and actually was like even more than the expectation that I personally had. In the sense that I was always like a sort of fan of Shiloh uh, for her energies and for the vers. Uh, the extremely uh, versatile style that she has um, because she does like really work on each every medium and she's like um, a great great artist in terms of experimentations of like technology and collaborative process she literally created like a parallel universe uh, around that wall in Lodi Colony bringing together like the residents of Lodi Colony all of us uh, more uh, than as organizers as spectators of this incredible uh, kind of happening the entire process is as much an act of transformation as the wall itself so it's both a visual arts but it's also a performing arts campaign in that sense we're here on the street for four days seven days and the the whole act becomes into an act of theater And this entire process does make the girls from Sewing New Futures a little more fearless than they were before. मतलब जो है इंसान का अगर हुनर हुनर है सपने हैं अगर वो ही इंसान को कुछ बना सकते हैं अगर किसी के सपने नहीं है तो फिर कुछ भी नहीं है वो जिंदगी में इसलिए और यहाँ से मुझे लगता है कि यहाँ तक मैं आई हूँ तो मैं आगे भी जाऊँगी और यहीं से मेरे सपने पूरे होंगे हमारे पास हमारे हौसले हैं हमारी ताकत है तो उनको लेकर साथ चलना चाहिए ना कि उनको पीछे रख के और हिम्मत हार के बैठना चाहिए दुनिया तो चाहे कुछ भी बोले दुनिया नहीं बढ़ने देती किसी को भी ठीक है साहिल दीदी अपनी जगह और औरों के लिए भी एक मिसाल ही है चाहे कोई कुछ भी सोचता हो उनके बारे में पर मैं उनको ठीक मानती हूँ अच्छे से मतलब अलग सोच थी उनकी एक अलग सोच के व्यक्ति से मिल भी अच्छा लगा मैं तो इतनी सारी पेंटिंग्स भी शायद गर्ल्स ने फर्स्ट टाइम ही देखी थी वहाँ पे कि ऐसा भी कुछ होता है नॉर्मली और उन्होंने जो भी उसमें पार्टिसिपेट किया मुझे लगता है कि पेंटिंग के अलावा कॉन्फिडेंस बिल्डिंग के लिए बहुत अच्छा था क्योंकि जो वर्कशॉप उन्होंने सेंटर बेस्ड की थी उसमें कुछ ऐसी चीज़ें थी कि जो बच्चों के अंदर से हम ईज़िली नहीं निकाल पाते थे तो उन्होंने बड़ा फ़न और क्रिएटिव वे में उस चीज़ को किया कि सब ने अपनी इनर फीलिंग्स बताई ग्रुप के सामने तो अच्छा था वो शेयरिंग के लिए I was really surprised about how much the girls opened up about kind of stuff that they're scared of that like the emotions that they feel kind of obligated to hide and then that evolved into a bigger conversation about the need to express those feelings so that kind of progress can be made and change can happen Shiloh hopes to build this movement of fearlessness, girl by girl and wall by wall. I've actually been following her work for the last four or five years. When I found out that Shiloh is coming for the festival, I kind of like I super excited. Yeah, I know I saw. Yeah. <laughs> it was really an honor for me to work with her. It was a really magical week. 
so you know from meeting her uh, on day one I mean the first thing I said to her was you know I'm a fan girl and she hugged me and I was like super excited about it and then spent the day with her spent the entire week with her extremely democratic as an artist you know she allowed anyone and everyone who was here at uh, Lodi Colony to paint on her wall no matter what experience they have it was just the excitement of being here पूरी पूरी दोपहरी में भी बेचारी ने खाना नहीं खाया मेहनत करी उन्होंने बहुत पेंटिंग बना बना के तो वैसे हमें खुद देख के तो ये अच्छा लगता है कि भाई दीवार पे और भी कुछ नहीं है तो बैठे बैठे देखते हैं हमारी निगाह इधर ही जाती है काफी दिनों में हमने ये चीज देखी है कुछ देखने के लिए हमने काफी ये दीवार खाली हमार में हिम्मत नहीं होगी तो हम आगे लिखड़ेंगे कैसे थोड़ा स्टोन तो होना पड़ता है लेडीज को मजबूरी थी फिर भी हूँ तब तक सोना रात ना आए अब यह है कोरा डेट इज़ द मदर टॉकिंग टू द डॉटर एंड द डॉटर इज़ सेइंग रह गए हैं जो तेरे अरमान उससे बनूंगी नए जान दिस इज़ द स्टोरी अबाउट फियरलेस लेडीज़ ऑफ़ टुडे ऑफ़ टुडेज़ वर्ल्ड एंड इट्स रियली अप्रिशिएटिव टू सी ऑल दीज आर्टिस्ट हु आर टेकिंग अप सोम हाईलाइटिंग ऑल दीज पॉइंट्स अबाउट वेमेन एंड अबाउट यू नो the rights of the women so really appreciate this kind of work it's really nice kal dance party sab kuch kiya na full enjoy kiya humne aur itna maza aaya na jitna kabhi nahi aaya tha to do is to create fearless collectives everywhere in the last couple of months we've had fearless pakistan emerge as a totally amazing group of their own and right here we have fearless delhi emerge who are going to hopefully continue yes. their work in public space. yes we will <laughs> <laughs> um so yeah that's really exciting we're leaving something behind Italian artist Agostino Iacorci develops works with multiple images in a minimalistic style to generate immediate dialogue with the spectator. His installation at the Containers, titled Hard Boiled Cosmic Egg, is simple in its composition but deep in its commentary. My work here is you know it's exactly what you can see it's an egg so yeah i like egg i think it's a good symbol it's also a, a good food so that's it oh, i came with some ideas and then uh, you know talking with uh, julia the curator we found out this this idea was working good with the container uh, because you know it's something very clean uh, yeah something very clean and uh, works to me works very well and uh, it's also fitting with the concept of the work that I presented inside, the small collage. Agostino has like a super peculiar way of expression and is a really minimal language um, but extremely impactful. So he decided basically to paint an egg which is like something pretty simple. And why? Because the egg is like all over the world, um, a symbol of fertility. It's a symbol uh, that is being represented in the history of art uh, from many painters, like all over the time, um, as like the, the, the sort of origin of the world. And so it's something that actually like connects all of us. Egg is like one of the elements which is like the most consumed uh, in the world and also over here in India. And also actually the egg, um, as a sort of like um, similarity with the containers. Why? Because the egg is contained by the shelf and contains life. And containers are contained by shipping yards or like by depot and contains like goods inside. So this was like the entire like discourse of Agostino all around, all about. And then the other fact is that basically he painted a boiled split egg. The reason why he painted so is because we are boiling this universe, we are boiling actually this cosmos. 
and so that's the reason why I painted the boiled eggs in a sort of like you know reminder that actually we should take better care about the world. The walls of Govindpuri metro station in Delhi become the canvas for the bright and colorful motifs of Augustino, who finds inspiration for his piece in the life around the station. For the metro, I came with an idea. Uh, they didn't like it, so there was a big discussion. I like this kind of uh, process, so I discussed it with the people, with the guy from the metro, with the curator and uh, we finally found uh, something that I think I like it better than the first idea I had. The metro station has been uh, also a very challenging experience. Yeah, I was very, I'm kind of happy with the, the result and uh, yeah, it's better, you know, it's something you have to see, it's not something to talk too much about. He was there, he was looking around and then what happened was that he created this kind of like galaxy around the metro station because he felt that in just the one particular spot of Govindpuri metro station, the entire galaxy was there. Like, you know, the amount of chaos, the amount of like people and noises and like animals and food and everything was just right there, you know, creating a sort of microcosmos. So what he tried like actually to convey was like that over there, like there were like a cosmos you know, already there, and he just like highlighted this like kind of mm, aspect of going Puri, uh, but bringing like, you know, a sort of sense of calm that is absolutely not there. So that's the reason why like, you know, there is this kind of woman and the entire like hair of this woman are basically embracing the station and leading like, you know, the viewer to a sort of like, you know, calm discovery of the entire piece. So yeah, I think that mm, like one of the best thing that he was able to create is like a sense of calm in a place that is absolutely chaotic. Augustino has constant companions that find their way into all his compositions. There is no secret for these birds. You know, they just travel with me. They keep traveling around the world with me. I'm really impressed with the Indian lifestyle. And uh, it's like, uh, I, I'm from a chaotic city but this is like uh, the next level. And uh, I like how people, you know, can be very calm and relaxed even if they're living this kind of, you know, mess. So to me it's very inspiring. You know, the, the part that inspires me most of my travels is always, you know, meeting the people and living the real life. So I'm impressed with, uh, you know, all of it. Everything is on such a big scale and uh, happens in a very, you know, chaotic process but at the end it works, and this is almost the way I work. So.